uh, we, <clears throat> as we promised, we come back till somebody will announce the result of what they achieved. But there seems to be um, some problems <clears throat> with some people uh, understanding of the winding of the uh, copper um, springs. I had to think a lot in how you lot are getting it all the other way around and wrong way around. And this morning we discussed it with our guys who understand these things, and then we spoke with the factory that understand these things. And it's a very easy solution to it. And I've asked Vince, and hopefully when I start explaining it, everything else, how to do the winding on the blueprint will be withdrawn and this will become the replacement for it. That from now on, everybody knows when we talk about uh, the winding, it doesn't matter what terminology you use, we call it the winding of the coil for the power units, for gravitational magnetic unit. We started from now that they can record it and take it out. If you take a normal hand drill, this is the easiest way to do it. When you have a hand drill, you hold the drill in your hand, uh, facing the direction where you want to put your uh, attachment to it. On a hand drill, you have a forward and a backward. What it means, when you want to drill a hole, you press forward, you push in. If you want, for example, to screw, uh, screw into the wall with a hand screw, you push it forward. It goes clockwise, away from you. But they all have a button which you can reverse it, which means you try to take the screw out, which goes anti-clockwise or unwinding. Put your drill onto anti-clock, which is unwinding position. Put the bar which you want to produce. If you can open it, we should be able to open it. You put your bar in the drill which you tighten it. You put your copper wire into the grooves, some whatever way you can um, tighten it that it stays in the jaw of the uh, drill. And once you've done that, you're all experts. I'm the most lousy guy with the hand drills and these things, even I. I've done engineering, I always hate tools. So, what do you do? You tighten your bar, your copper wire, and all you do, just switch it on. You start the first rotation with it, as it goes. If I can clip it, this is a very fine, because we don't have a gauge 14 with us here in the center. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tighten it a couple of times that it has the body to be gripped. All you do, you turn the machine on and let it run away from you. And that's all you need to do. This is how you call it clockwise, anti-clockwise. That's how you make your swing to coil. Very easy. You make it tighter as you like. You can make it open as you like. But now we answered all the questions. How do you make it? If it's a right hand screw or a left hand uh, clockwise, whatever. This is how it should be. This end is your, this end which is towards the machine where we started, is your gravitational, or if it's your center core, is the input, and the other end is the output. As simple as this. So all this misunderstanding about the magnetical and gravitational 
is resolved. If you look at the wire, it looks as it's clockwise, but it's actually winded anti-clockwise. It's as simple as doing it this way. So a lot of you who had problem with this, you see it, this is what it's called, anti-clockwise, because when you look at it from the field coming out, you see the bend. It's the field flow. So the way we do it and the way it's been done, it's this way. It doesn't matter how you call it. The winding for the coils, you place it in your drill. If you have a, a screwdriver, other people who use the screwdrivers, you hold your screwdriver and you turn backwards with your screwdriver. That's all it is. The turning of the coil is, of the beam, is anti-clockwise, and that's what we're looking for. That's what is called anti-clockwise turning. You turn your screwdriver, or if you have a machine, you put it, you face the wire towards yourself, and the machine builds up to the numbers you need. So this is the coils, you call it whatever we've taken with this way, any question about the winding is clockwise and the clockwise out of the equation. So straightforward, put it in, put your bar, assemble your or push your end of wire into it and just turn the drill as you are going reverse. Yes. Yes. No, you, you have to understand the difference. There are two separate conditions. One is making the, uh, the coil, and one is connecting the coil. There are two different sections. Yeah? The way you do the making of the coil, has nothing to do the way you connect them. So when you make two coils, one magnetical, one gravitational, your magnetical and gravitational both go through the same condition. You put one inside the other. When you connect it, when you make your loop, then you go by the principle of what you have, what you call your gravitational loop and what you have in your magnetical loop. Yeah? So you connect because you have, this is one set. Then you have a bigger set which sits outside. We have the gravitational and then you have a magnetical. So, um, Maybe let's do a different way to stop the confusion. I'm going to go backwards. Um, let's take this out. Let's take this out all together. I don't know what's this. Okay. If you take this out, and we call this the inner ring gravitational magnetical, and then we call this one the outer ring magnetical, I take uh, purple, and this is the gravitational, oh, sorry, the magnetical of the outer ring. So if you call it one, two, three, and four. What do you do? Because don't forget with your magnetical, you have a slight difference in the coil, and that is you have turned this magnetical once inside itself only by a copper line. Yeah? And then you've done the same. You have 
turn this with, I choose another color, uh, yellow. You have turned this inside itself by a second line. Yeah? This doesn't matter. So, the way you connect is the gravitational here of the inner ring in a, because it is in a clockwise. You go to the gravitational ring of this one, you connect here. So you go from two gravitational, the inner gravitational to the outside gravitational. Oh, sorry, yeah, you're right. No, it's correct. Don't tell me the outside, I'm right. Because this is, yeah, 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 you're right, sorry. Um, you connect, we put the yellow back on, uh, the green, uh, the yellow back up here. So you have the green, which is the beginning of it, end of this gravitational, uh, We go to blue, which we chose that way. Then all the connections are in blue. Here you connect your gravitational end, gravitational end of this. And then you, it goes through where it comes back. You have this here, yeah? When it comes back, you go from gravitational end to the magnetical of this end. And then, because you go, oh no, it's a counterclockwise. You go, it's, it's correct here. You go from there to here, and then you go, from this here to here, and then you have your two ends. This end goes to your unit as magnetical, and you have this end of the red here, which is your negative gravitation. You connect your grid or the other tray to this point. The power goes around. It goes to the gravitational beginning of the other coil. It goes clockwise. It comes out. You connect it back to the inner center, magnetical, anticlockwise. And then you connect it to the outside and you take your power from it. Don't forget, this is something some of you we repeat because we are process of explaining to make everything easier. When you make these coils, this is what um, is being said. Some of you might have heard, some of you might not. A lot of you know. Uh, we came with this with the uh, situation with. Sandor using a very um, tough uh, copper, 
um, is before you nanocode, once you make your coils, this is what we're doing in the factory now, you heat up your copper wire ends, this ends, you heat them up just below melting, that they soften. You bend them, you make all your connections with the wiring, and then you nanocode. You've seen Richard doing it. A lot of people have a problem. We had this problem in the factory as well, where these are hard wires to work with. But once you anneal them, it's known as annealing, which is you heating to soften up. Uh, you do all your connections, you bend the ends, then you're safe with your work. So,